Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my FB page Dr. Srinivas Concepts. This is Dr. Srinivas Neurologist from Rajmandri, Andhra Pradesh, India. I am also the medical author of the book Focused Neurology. My email is sriklpm at gmail.com. Today we are going to talk about the dysfunction of the 11th cranial nerve especially the dropped head syndrome. So dysfunction of the 11th cranial nerve, the dropped head syndrome, cranial nerves part 69, spinal accessory nerve, 11th nerve part 3. So dysfunction of the 11th nerve and dropped head syndrome. Dysfunction of the 11th nerve. The irritative supranuclear lesions may cause the head to turn away from the discharging hemisphere. So as I have just mentioned in the last episode, when there is a frontal cortex irritation, it goes and supplies the sternocleidomastoid muscle on the same side and therefore it causes the contraction of the sternocleidomastoid and helps it to turn the head to the opposite side. So irritative supranuclear lesions by stimulating may cause the head to turn away from the discharging hemisphere. This turning of the head or head and the eyes may occur as a part of a contraversive Jacksonian seizure and is often the first manifestation of the seizure. The head turns because of the contraction of the sternocleidomastoid muscle. The eye turns because the front eye fields area number 8 will turn the eyes to the opposite side as a manifestation of saccades. The sternocleidomastoid muscle and trapezius are frequently involved in cervical dystonia. So cervical dystonia, a person comes with all kinds of awkward posture involving the sternocleidomastoid muscle and trapezius. We always suspect cervical dystonia. So the sternocleidomastoid muscle and trapezius are frequently involved in cervical dystonia. Atrophy and the weakness of both sternocleidomastoid muscles is a prominent feature of myotonic dystrophy also. Yeah, dropped head syndrome. What is dropped head syndrome? Severe weakness of the neck extensors leads to an inability to hold the head up. So they drop the head. Severe weakness of the neck extensors leads to an inability to hold the head up. The most common causes of the dropped head syndrome are inflammatory myopathy, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis and myasthenia gravis. So the most common cause of the dropped head syndrome are inflammatory myopathy, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis and myasthenia gravis. The flexed neck posture is also seen in common Parkinson's disease but the extension strength is unimpaired. That's how we differentiate Parkinson's disease from other disorders which causes dropped head syndrome. The flexed neck posture is common in Parkinson's disease but extension strength is unimpaired. So these are the important concepts of the dysfunction of the 11th now especially the dropped head syndrome. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed listening to it. The other important concepts of neurology, I have put it in a question and answer format in the book Focused Neurology, which is available online from all leading booksellers, including Amazon. So if you are interested, you can buy this book online. Uh, as I said, these concepts are very fascinating, especially the drop dead syndrome. If you have enjoyed listening to these concepts, please like and share the link. But please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Dr. Sinwas Medical Concepts and my webpage Dr. Sinwas Concepts. Thank you. Bye.